Yo, this video caught my attention because since it's a guy doing most of the talking, at least based off of what I saw from the preview, I feel like I'd be able to offer some perspective also being a guy since apparently he was the one that cheated. But yeah, why did you cheat on me? This is something, it probably wouldn't like circle this type of subject. But, like, I see myself one day when my YouTube gets big enough, like, hitting up some of my exes and, um, having them, like, maybe we have a lie detector test guy and I wouldn't mind, like, sitting in front of all of them and, like, recording, like, a conversation of unanswered questions from both sides. I think that would be a really cool video to do, but, um, I just wanted to check this out and have y'all watch this with me and, um, I just provide some um you know some thought process on this guy's responses to the question she's asking three two one boom why did you cheat me so many times darn so many times okay <laughs> um i didn't cheat on you so many times i did not like do the act of cheating see here's the thing when a guy hasn't been humbled enough times in life um it's really difficult to be honest and tell the truth it's just the only thing i hate about how most guys operate at least the ones i've seen um that haven't been humbled yet is that they wait until it's too late to tell the truth when it could have saved what they had um, or they wait until it's already like a thing of the past and then if they like happen to run into that person they did wrong later then they apologize but there's no mending what you had before you're just kind of getting the weight off of your shoulders if that makes sense I never slept with anybody else you didn't? I never slept you with didn't? anybody else hands stuff? hands stuff what? hands oh. stuff? yes Fucking sucks. See, I'm still upset about it. I know. It fucking sucks. But hey, I never slept with anybody else. Now stuff? Um. I feel like it makes that a little bit better. It still doesn't change the fact that he cheated, but at least he didn't have deep intimacy with somebody, you know? She went down on you. Yeah. That's fucking gross, man. That's cheating. I never said it wasn't. It's still cheating. When, he's, when something says so many times, that implies, like, sex addict or something like that. It, like. Well, I also want to give you a clear understanding, maybe, of what you don't know. Um, the question is, why did I? And I think it's because I was interested. You see that? He's having a really hard... He's getting humbled right here. He's having a really hard time telling the truth. He's trying not to cry. I've been in those situations before. Where it's hard to get it out, but you feel better after you've gotten it out. Even though it was tough in that situation. But, based off what he's saying right here, especially if you're a lady listening to this, um, hold on. And other options. See, he was interested in other options. Sometimes guys find themselves in a place to where they don't really have good ribs. So it's not often that they come across a beautiful woman. But they tell themselves that, hey, I'm ready to be in a committed and serious relationship when in the first place they weren't, they weren't ready still. Um, they weren't ready. They wanted to explore other types of women, maybe ethnicities, maybe curvy, maybe different body types. They feel like they want, they didn't get out there enough. Um, so they feel like them ending up with a good woman, they feel like, I don't want to lose her, but at the same time, my urges and um, my my checklist, I didn't I didn't get to fulfill these urges or this little checklist I got in the back of my mind. 
So I'm going to try to do my best to stay with this person even though I'm struggling to stay loyal. That is either, you, in, mo in most cases with guys, it's either that or they're hanging around a bunch of single guys when they're in a committed relationship. And it's a lot harder to be loyal when you're hanging around people that are, that are doing single people things versus doing couple, marriage, or relationship things. That's why it's important for couples to get in, you know, for couples to hang around other couples. It makes, it makes you stronger, I feel. Based off personal experience and based off what I've had people who have been with somebody for decades tell me. Okay. Why didn't you end it with me if you were one of your options? Well, I did. Look, that, that night that it all kind of first started, we... That's sad. He can't even look at her. That's how, that's how you know he did wrong. When somebody can't look at you eye to eye while talking to you and telling you the truth, they know they did wrong. He didn't do it. And they feel bad. And we talked. And then about two weeks later, I broke up with you because I felt like I had been dishonest. And then that's when something happened. You know, when you ask... See, that's why I don't believe in breaks. Whenever somebody tells me they want to go take a break, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you can go take your break over here with Jim, with Jimmy John over here. Don't don't come back. Don't come if you want to take a break. Don't come back over here. I've always done that. I don't take nobody back if we're taking a break. That's just your excuse to go talk to so and so over here and then come back to me when things don't work out. When when you say like we were, that's how that's at least how I've, I've always felt. Young, we were in college. You know, you have one... Because if you're in a serious relationship, you want to work through stuff. You don't just want to give up, you know? You don't want to take a break. Taking a break is just an excuse to go talk to somebody else. I'd rather say, um... I would rather say, give me a little bit of space. You know, like, maybe that's like... Let me take half a day or so and we can still text and like chat on the phone in between and then come back together when I've had time to think about what happened or think about what we disagreed on and then we can come together and see if we can make this better. That that's better than saying take a let's take a break. I ain't taking no break. If I'm gonna take a break, I might as well leave. Well kinda coping about it. She still loves him. If she didn't love him, she wouldn't care. She wouldn't cry. And it's kind of, you know, now, as we're really talking about it, why did I do it so many times? He don't know what to say. He's trying... See, a lot of people say that, like, when, when you shrug your shoulders and you don't know what to say in that moment, you just need a little bit of time to get your thoughts together. It's not like you're trying to come up with a lie, because I've been in this situation before. I'm just trying to word it in a manner to where I can communicate what I mean, if that makes sense. Coming from a guy's perspective. It's what happens when you don't want to, when you're not the type to just blow up and get upset or whatever. When you're actually really trying to communicate. It's really hard for most guys to like communicate their feelings. So sometimes you kind of need a, a brief pause just so you can um, figure out what you're, you know, what you're trying to tell her. It's the same thing like when you're trying to profess your love to a woman. It's, it's tough. It's hard, man. Because you don't know... 
you know, you, 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 if, especially if you care about them, you, you don't know what the response is going to be. Yeah, I don't have the answers. Mm. <sighs> he just wasn't ready for a committed relationship, that's all. He found a really good quality woman too soon. That's all. That's all it was. And he knew that, which is why he didn't want to let her go. Which is why he kept cheating, even though he knew he was too weak to stay loyal. <clears throat> but he doesn't want to admit that. So he probably does love her. I feel like when a guy loves a woman... Uh, a lot of times they can still cheat because of lust, but and when you're in love with a woman, that's that's a different kind. Of, that's a different case. When you're in love, you were you were ready to be in a committed relationship. But like if you just grew yourself to to love her, you care about her, but you're probably not strong enough to stay loyal. So you probably need a little help. You might need some guidance, or you might just need to hang around other people who are also in committed relationships to help strengthen, you know, your your will. You know, <sighs> still doesn't make what he did right, but you know. When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember? <laughs> you know, I honestly think about that time which obviously wasn't the first time that we met but i think about being at burley's apartment um and you were on the phone with laura <laughs> and i came up to you hold on let me put a towel on this light it's blinding me man I can't find one big enough, so I'll just put up with it for now. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, uh -huh. When I put my mind to it, I, I wanted you. Did you kiss me? Like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Based on how she's looking at him, though, I think she would take him back. How far are we at? 12 minutes. We're good. <laughs> I think she would take him back. You know what I'm talking about. I do. No, it's been easy. Especially if she's single. I'm pretty sure she's single since she's crying over him, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one's kind of fun. Really <laughs> what do you cherish about our time together as a couple? The, the kind of traditions that you and I make together. Those are, those are things that and I think about when I think about like what's a what's a good relationship is you know. like us going to movies and getting popcorn um, and like soda it's right yeah popcorn and Sprite just every time it's still good yeah it's still good <laughs> <laughs> wow, these are just, these are so nice <laughs> what's your fondest memory from our time together um there was uh, a night when I was in the apartment with Rebecca and Winston, um, this is like a memory, and uh, we were in kind of a rough patch, but you came over and slow danced with me and rubbed my feet. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember this at all? Now, a guy really ca if a guy rubs your feet, he, he cares. And we um, listen. I've done that for my woman multiple to like oh it was that guy that was at Marsha's uh -huh. do you know who I'm talking about? yeah I'm gonna hold you <laughs> yeah. to the time yeah and uh and you held me and you danced with me and we used to do that for a long time and I do remember yeah 
I somehow said something to the effect of, I could marry you right now. <laughs> and you said, um, well, if you propose, I'd say yes. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I just, and it was kind of nice that I had to walk away from that and like, think about that. And I just felt so amazing. It was good. Like, I, I saw it, you know? Yeah. I could see it. If you could change one thing in a relationship, what would it be and why? I I think there were a lot of trust issues. I know there were a lot of trust issues. Yep. And I blamed you for a lot of things, but I wasn't perfect. And um Yeah, both sides can come with baggage sometimes. Oh my God, we grew up together, you know? And instead of working on it, sometimes it just, you do this. Because a lot of times we're not raised to handle emotional stability. Like mm -hmm. it's... Especially when the person you're with has a lot of baggage and a lot of toxicity from either how they were brought up or um, who they dated before you got here, you know? I wouldn't be the person I am today, and we wouldn't have the relationship that we do now if it were any different. Because we loved each other. We were so in love with each other. She still loved him. You know, I wanted to marry you. <laughs> and, like, I don't think I ever want to do that again. This is real heavy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really scary, vulnerable place to be in. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be really cool if I could set something like that up. Except it wouldn't be just one X. I think, I think the video I would do when this channel gets big, I would get multiple X's in one room, and I would have them all fire off questions, and I would be like tied to a, like a lie detector test, and then I could fire off questions for them too. And they would be tied to a lot of tech. I think that would be that would be great. That would be awesome. I would love to do something like that. But let me know what y'all thought down in the comment section below. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for coming. Peace.